It is, without a doubt, one of the strangest variants of a high-volume vehicle on sale in the U.S. right now, the 2018 Chevy Equinox fitted with the company's 1.6-liter Ecotec turbozone. That's right, one of the most typically American platforms fitted with an engine type that, especially given the Volkswagen Group's recent difficulties, has never been more than a niche player on these shores. Shrouded in scandal and old prejudices, it's hard to imagine many Equinox buyers checking the expensive option box to fit the oil burner to their crossover. At least, on paper. That's why we spend a week and one, schlepping all around town and with plenty of freeway time, to figure out if this thing makes any sense given the deck seemingly stacked against it. That's not a declaration of anti-diesel bias, it's just a reality check given the headwinds this type of engine faces in the US, and actually, even in Europe in recent years. Diesel has a lot going for it, even if the relative brilliance of the TDI was a sick joke at everyone's expense. Diesel engines provide torque and excellent economy, at the expense of potentially higher fuel costs and a powertrain that is more expensive to produce. It's the thrift that's probably the biggest benefit to an Equinox Spider, because there's no increased towing capability. It's rated at only 1,500 pounds, compared to 3,500 if you properly equip an Equinox with a 2.0-liter turbo running on gasoline. Nor is it the cheapest Equinox, compared with a light-equipped gas Equinox LT, it's a sizable $1,345 more. The Equinox Diesel's 32 miles per gallon combined on the EPA test cycle beats the 1.5-liter turbo gas engine by 4 miles per gallon, and given the real-world disappointment inherent in small gas turbo engine fuel economy, it's probably a bigger advantage out in the wild. The disparity is much larger with the optional 2.0-liter gas turbo i4.